Hello and welcome back to another video series. In this series, we are going to be going over XYZ Mesh version 8.2 and we are going to be showing all of the features inside of it. Now in this first video, we are just going to be going over the basic features and what XYZ Mesh is. XYZ Mesh was originally created to plot XYZ values into a surface graph that can then be viewed inside of Microsoft Excel. Since then, XYZ Mesh has been tweaked and added to over the years, and now it can be used for many different applications, including exporting 3D graphs into Excel with scatter plots, line charts, surface graph, wireframe, and many more. So for instance, if we wanted to export this three-dimensional data right here into an Excel plot, all we'd have to do is go down here to Excel 3D chart, and we can say we either want a 3D line or a 3D scatter plot, and we can put in any kind of information we want here about the business, and then go to export to Excel. It will calculate all the data information, and it will export this directly into an Excel document that you can then send to whoever you would need to. It has the functionality to zoom in, to rotate, and to also adjust the planes as needed. Also have the availability for XYZ Mesh to plot this as a surface graph. So if we go in here to Excel Mesh, you can see that it's going to take all the data points. It is going to line it up into a mesh format, and then it is going to automatically fill in any empty data points that it may have in this format, and it will make a surface graph for you. So as you can see, it took all those data points, put them into a surface graph. We can also change the way that this looks. For instance, we can have it be a mesh, or we can turn it into a surface graph. We can also do 3D points in it as well, so another scatter plot like that or we can have it be triangles. We can really do lots of different things with it. If you would like to do more than just that, you can also adjust the Z height, for instance, like this, up and down. You can adjust the Y length as well, so you can splice it in the Y direction and also splice it in the X direction. Now, all of this can also be exported into Excel. So like this, we want it to be a surface graph. We can go up to File, Export to Excel. Again, we have all of our information that we can put in here in case we want to. So a sample, the client business is very technical, LLC. You can include my business information. Hmm. And we can also have the date as well. So we can have it be a surface grasp, a wireframe, a contour. We can do custom backgrounds. And then once we have all this set, we just hit export to Excel. Again, it'll go through, it'll calculate everything for you and it will export this into an Excel formatted surface graph. Another feature that we have inside of XYZ Mesh is the ability to export either the converted data or the input data into a DXF format. So for instance, if you wanted to export the input data into DXF, you can either do a point, a line, or point and line. So let's go down here to export converted. We can do point mesh or point and mesh. And if we do this point and mesh, you can see it is loading. It's coming up with a window. I'm gonna go ahead and make a test XYZ mesh. And would you like to open the exported file? We can say yes. And it is opening up Autodesk True View in the other window. As soon as it populates, I'll drag it over and here it is. So, as you can see, we have the grid laid out in a mesh format. We also have all of the points. The points are actually circles, but if we rotate this in a three-dimensional plane, you can see 
that we have those available. And we can also hide those circles, but the circles are in a separate layer. So we can actually just toggle that on and off. For instance, right here, those were the mesh lines toggled off. We can toggle that off as well. And there we have it. So we have the mesh, we also have the points, two separate layers on it as well. Hi, I'm Kyle, owner and operator of Great Technical. Thank you all so much for making it at this point in the video. And if you are here, go ahead, like, and subscribe to the channel. It helps us out a lot and it lets me know that the content I'm making is stuff that you all like to see. Go ahead, leave us a comment as well. Let me know if there's anything that you would like to see in the future or if you have any future updates that you would like to have included in our products in the future. I would also like to say that being a company owner, I am very proud to be able to support businesses and students. I am also extremely proud to be able to support content creators. So if you have a content platform, you make videos, or if you have a blog and you would like to reuse some of our content, or if you would like to review some of our products, go ahead and send me an email. My email is right here, support at greattechnical.com. Get in contact with me. We can see what we can get worked out. And until next time, thank you all very much. Have a great rest of your day.